Hi guys, I noticed from week two assignments that some of you had some challenges with some of the terminology. Uh, I know a lot of you are new to InDesign and I just wanted to take uh, a minute to do a quick video uh, and explain some of those things. So here we are, InDesign is open. I'm going to create a new page, a new document. I'm going to leave the settings here, uh, eight and a half by 11 facing pages and we'll just okay, okay that. Uh, one of the first things was the pasteboard. This gray area out here is the pasteboard. You can use it sort of like a scratch pad or uh, like a sticky note where you can put uh, text, you can put elements, and you can just drag them uh, onto the pasteboard, off of the pasteboard, onto your document. Uh, the things on the pasteboard are non-printing. So the pasteboard is on the left side, it's on the right side. It's also, as I zoom out, above the document, but you can see uh, it only goes so far. You can actually extend this. Uh, if I go back to document setup and say I make the bleed uh, much larger, I'll set that to uh, two inches uh, all the way around. And as you can see, that expands up. It really, you don't get more space up here, but it expands and it accommodates uh, for you to move things around. Uh, one of the other things that uh, people uh, didn't fully understand was the gutter. And I know that there are many definitions uh, out there that uh, you guys found. Um, but if I have, I'm going to go uh, back to my document setup, and I'm just going to increase my page numbers from here, and I'll increase that to five. And I've got facing pages on. You can't see um, the space between the two pages right here uh, if you just have one page of course so um, the space between the pages is officially the gutter but technically InDesign uh, refers to the gutter as the space between the columns so I will go to layout margins and columns I will set up some additional columns here and I increase the space as you can see here this is referred to as the gutter and this is the space between the columns so most of you uh, as you saw in the grade center, I made that note that the space between the columns is referred to as the gutter. So you just want to be clear on that. If you are dealing with a printer and you mention the gutter, they may not understand what the alley is, uh, but they will understand what the gutter between the columns uh, are. And of course, the space here in between the two pages, um, that comes into play when you um, have a spread that's two pages a uh, setup like this and you have an element that actually crosses um, the two pages let me put a color on that so that we can see it a little better there so this is now crossing uh, over the gutter in between the two pages uh, another thing that some people didn't understand fully was the ruler the ruler is here up at the top and also on the left side. The ruler, you drag your guides down from the rulers like this. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you drag a guide and you drag it from within the page, the guide is only contained within the page here. As you can see, this guide does not extend off of the page. If you drag the guide from the outside here, this guide then you can see it extending uh, across the page onto the pasteboard. Let me zoom out so you can see that a little bit better. The same for the vertical guides. If I stay within the page here, uh, it does not extend up onto the pasteboard. If I drag from uh, within the pasteboard on overlapping the um, layout the page, then that guide will extend uh, all the way off into the pasteboard.